One of the greatest inventors to have lived was that of Nikola Tesla. At the time, his unique mind wasn't appreciated, and in some cases people even tried to brand him as a mystic, and someone who didn't know what he was talking about. However, these comments didn't stop him, and Nikola Tesla wasn't one to shy away from electricity and being able to harness it. One of his famous quotes was the following, I have worked out a dynamic theory of gravity in all details and hope to give this to the world very soon. End quote. Nikola Tesla has impacted your life in one way or another. For example, electricity, radar, microwaves, the radio, drones, and many other things. All these came from the great mind that was Nikola Tesla. Recently, the FBI has released 64 pages of unreleased documents. And these include things like papers and documents that were collected shortly after Nikola Tesla passed away. For many years now, theories have been floating around as to why Tesla's work was collected by the government. Some have said that Tesla's work wasn't important, and wouldn't have impacted us, and that the ideas and inventions he was working on didn't work or were just made up. So, if this was the case, why then did the United States government quickly swoop in and collect his work shortly after he'd passed away? Tesla's work obviously caught the attention of the FBI as they wanted to come through what he'd been working on. One of their reasons for doing this was to ensure that any of his work didn't get into the wrong hands. For this reason, they decided it would be best if Tesla's documents remained in the property of the Office of Alien Property Custodian. This was, however, until the documents and other pieces of Tesla's work mysteriously disappeared after the war. Interestingly, enough discussion had been created that the public was aware of some of these alleged inventions, and it even caused citizens to question director J. Edgar Hoover about what Tesla was working on. It's some of these excerpts, though, that have caused many people to question why the government would look into this, and not only that, but also keep it a secret. These are some excerpts from the official FBI documents that got released. This letter will not reach you in time to sight flying saucers over New York on the night of June 13th from 10pm to 1am, but there will again be full-scale operations of flying saucers over all American areas on July 1st. This will be in three phases as follows. New York areas July 1st 9am, Washington DC areas 9.25am, General North American areas after 9.25am, Central American areas 9.30am, South American areas 9.35am. Second phases, same areas as above, beginning at 12 midday July 1st. Third phase, full scale operations over all American areas beginning at 7pm on the evening of July 1st. The above information has been supplied by George King, editor of Cosmic Voice 88 The Drive Mansions. Fulham Road in London. Also, please note that George King has also published back issues of Cosmic Voice in one volume. This is beyond doubt the finest source of messages that we know of. George King is considered the best telepathic contacts that the space people have. Although George Van Tassel is the finest we have in America. Margaret Storm has been assigned to certain work with the space people. As follows, she is writing a book, a story of the life of Nikola Tesla, and the part his inventions will play in the new age. Much of the data for this book has been supplied to Mrs. Storm through transcripts received on the Tesla set, a radio type machine invented by Tesla in 1938 for interplanetary communication. Tesla died in 1943, and his engineers did not build the Tesla set until after his death. It was placed in operation in 1950, and since that time the Tesla engineers have been in close touch with spaceships. The space people have visited the Tesla engineers many times, and have told us that Tesla was a Venetian, brought to this planet as a baby in 1856, and left with Mr. and Mrs. Tesla in a remote mountain provenance in what is now Yugoslavia. On 26th and 27th of January 1943, an examination was made of the technical papers of Dr. Nikola Tesla, 
which after his passing had been stored in the Manhattan warehouse in New York City. This examination was made for the purpose of determining if any ideas of significant value in the present United States war effort could be found among his possessions. Participating in this examination were Mr. John C. Newton, New York Office of the Alien Property Custodian, Dr. Charles of the Washington Office of Scientific Research and Development, and John G. Trump of the Office of Scientific Research and Development of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The following papers which were regarded as typical of Nikola Tesla's writings and thoughts in the period of 1925 to 1942 were removed for the purpose of record and listed below in random order in which they were found, together with a brief individual abstract. Exhibit A Possibilities of Electrostatic Generators An updated article probably written about 1934 discussing the possibilities as a source of high voltage DC power of the Van de Graaff of electrostatic belt generator. The article states correctly the electrostatic principle employed in this device and points out that such generators are not suitable for commercial high powered applications, though of undoubted scientific value. Tesla's wireless tower erected in 1902 on Long Island is stated in this memorandum to have charged to 30 million volts. Exhibit B, Reactive Force of Glycerin and Dynamite An updated memorandum involving some calculations of the explosive power of certain compounds, and then deviating to a discussion of the possibility of transmitting power by mechanical vibrations along the Earth's crust. Exhibit C, Process of Degasifying, Refining and Purifying Metals a 40-page memorandum probably written around 1930 detailing with the above subject and proposing new theories of capillarity and surface tension. These correspondence indicated these had been submitted to various industry companies. Exhibit D. Replying to Antorg regarding the generation of high voltage and acceleration of charged particles. This document dated 8th of November 1935 answers questions raised by Soviet engineers and scientists regarding Tesla's proposal of Ray. From this answer it is deduced that the proposal concerned the generators of high voltage by electrostatic means. These means consisted of a high voltage terminal, presumably supported on an isolating column, and charged by a gaseous charge conveying medium passing between ground and terminal. The ideas contained in this memorandum are fairly similar to the bulk conveyor electrostatic generator proposed by Van de Graaff and do not appear to offer any unusual features. End quote. There are some, however, that believe these documents are not telling us everything, and that there's a possibility some of Tessa's work and inventions are being held back. It's interesting because during Tessa's life, he claimed to have contacted and heard voices through transmitters. Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio, capable of receiving and broadcasting his signal, as soon as he turned on the device he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. He said he could hear a voice calling out his name, saying Tesla 123. Some have suggested that what he was hearing may have been the space people. So what do you guys make of these claims? And what do you think of Nikola Tesla? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.